The other day I gave y'all a video about how my trucking career is going since I graduated school. So, to God be the glory, um, the family friend that I was uh, planning on working with, uh, they ended up did coming through. The insurance accepted me. Um, and so, um, they were taking a minute to get back to me. So, like, Monday, Tuesday, um, he was out on the road. And I hit him up and I said, hey, man, um, you heard anything? He said, I think you can get you on the road next week. So in the meantime, I was just working temp jobs, working temp jobs all week just to put some money in my pocket, you know, whatever. And then finally, he uh, Saturday, he called me and said, hey, bro, uh, come to my house. You know, um, how long did it take you to get here? I was coming from Dolly Squad, so it took me about 45 minutes. And uh, he told me... Um, Doing on the road Monday morning, Sunday night, 1 a.m. So make sure I get some sleep. So I done had a super busy day. Um, parents passed my wife anniversary, so we had to all day church eating, set up, clean up, tear down, all of that. Then from that, I had to leave. Uh, my daughter's godfather is having his baby shower. He's having his first child. You know, shout out to them. Had to go there. Took my daughter there. Ran there. Sat there, made it home about seven. Y'all, excuse me. <laughs> I got some gas from the food I ate, but made it there about seven. Got back home about seven, seven thirty. Tried to sleep. Uh, I got about an hour and a half, push an hour and a half till about nine, till I couldn't get up. You know, kind of pushed it a little bit longer, maybe. Ended up taking my daughter home around ten, ten thirty. Now I'm up. Um, he said we gotta meet up at 1 a.m. The guy said about 1.30, but I have to go pick up the truck because instead of it being at the lot, it's at his house. So I'm gonna go get the truck now. And we're gonna go hit it, man. Um, first road trip, running 5,443 miles as a team. Uh, let's keep y'all up. Pick the truck up, we on the road, huh? We getting going. Going now, I don't pick the truck up. About to head to the lot to meet up with the other driver who's pretty much basically my trainer. Um, and that's that, man. We getting going, man. Getting going, man. It's crazy. It's a blessing. You know, never thought I'd be here. You know what I'm saying? But it is, you know what I'm saying? Don't ever stop trying every time, you know, try something else. Try, try, try again until you find something else for you, man. So I'm gonna try this out. We're gonna see y'all. I'll let y'all know. Halfway up. changed it on us. I don't know, I guess they looked at my location and they switched it and made us pick up from an Amazon down the street. But we were struggling for Amazon Relay to keep messing up changing or set up places that we didn't have a trailer for us. But uh, it's been going good. Uh, while I was asleep last night, my uh, trainer got pulled over and even though we have our gift and stuff, they hit him with a uh, ticket for not actually having the paper in the truck. So it's like a uh, ticket for that. And there was something else the company, I guess, had just something else they had to pay real quick, so they paid that as well. And it flagged them, so I'm glad I didn't drive last night. I'm glad I had literally stopped before that. But uh, other than that, everything's going good. Now we're here to California. It's going to be a long 18 hours before California. I mean, from Oklahoma to California. But 
cool. Feel good being away from home. Um, but so far, I'm loving it, man. I mean, if, if, if you want it, nah, it's a great career. I feel that you get into it. And I feel like you sitting at home, you're not doing nothing. You're a felon, you know what I'm saying? You don't really want to go to school. You're not going to school. Get your CDL, man. And you know, if you feel like you tried everything else and it wasn't working, you know, get your CDL, man. And just pray. Got to work it out, man. I don't know what I was going to do. I tried a lot. You know, I got a lot of trouble with the felon. Literally went to school, that didn't work out for, you know, the school was too expensive, went to school for something else. And, uh, you know, even for what I went to school for, they were probably get my CDL right now, which is going to be here. So, we're going to see what this family takes it tonight. I'll be back inside, take a shot. If I go, if I go, you can go get the hell on you and your mom. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Ooh, I am real. Ooh, I'm 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 real. You know, we back at the crib, at the people crib. We outside with the little one. Bounce house. Go hit the slide. Go do the slide. Go show them the slide. How many kids you know they own? <laughs> How many kids you know they own personal bounce? Do the slide. Do the slide. They own personal bounce house. At the crib, man. Now, this is a great one for your kids if your kids love bounce houses. Um, only thing is sometimes slide. One, two, three. Yeah. Only thing is, I can say sometimes she gets a little lonely because she don't have any young ones in our neighborhood. She kind of be out here by herself, or whatever. So, but anyways, back to the real information about my trucking trip, my trucking journey. So the trip overall went good. First time on the trip, show on the road. It was actually very cool, very calm. Like, um, you just can't be scared of the truck, man. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you use your Jake brake on the downgrades. Um. You know, school pretty much prepared me pretty well overall. And then when you in the city, you just take your time, man. Don't ever rush anything. Don't let anybody court you to go faster. Be patient, you know. But overall, the trip went good. After Tennessee, everybody else, for the most part, had our loads ready early. So we, we for every load, we showed up about four or five, maybe six hours early. I mean, one load, we showed up 10 hours early. But um, for the most part, they still had our stuff ready for us. So we were able to get in and get out quick. Um, the only other place we had to wait was our last pickup, which is in Texas. Um, we were there at like 12, 11 o'clock. It wasn't supposed to be ready till 10. We were 10 hours early. So we waited till about eight and went there. Now, one dilemma we did have was um, the spot they said the truck was in wasn't there. It was in a whole different location. And I didn't realize, I thought they wanted me to park there until um, they sent a notification basically saying, your truck is ready. Please hurry up and get out the lot. So I called them and they said the same spot and then they told me what I had to look for. So it actually wasn't an Amazon trailer. It was a rental Amazon trailer or whatever. But other than that, the trip went good. We made it home yesterday, came back, you know. But um, so far, it's so good. I averaged, uh, my total miles ended up being like 2,499, um, which was crazy. Like, exactly, that's what it ended up as. But it was, what are you doing with the slide, Leah? Don't put that slide there, no. Yeah, no. What are you doing? <laughs> Crazy, man. She's about to be three, so, you know, she's real active. But other than that, it was a cool, it was a good trip. I mean, you really just sleep and ride and sleep and ride. I mean, I came home last night, and I was extremely bored, and I was like, I wish I was still on the road, which is crazy, because I felt like at first I was ready to get home, but then after that, I was just, I was like, I'd rather have been on the road. But other than that, man, it was good. Um... Really just drive and take your time. If you have any skill driving, you know, make sure you give yourself enough space, you know, slow down in the rain. Don't rush. You feel me? But take your time and get the miles, man. And I feel like I'm going to have a great time with this career. I feel like it's going to be a life-changing experience for me. Um, only other thing with me is my company, they, uh, they're they actually going to pay every two weeks instead of one. So I haven't got paid yet. Uh, my boss says she might send me half now just because I just got started to put me some money in my pocket to hold over. 
so I could pay the things I need to pay, make sure I pay my child support, whatever. But other than that, it was great, man. So I'm going to check back in with y'all, man. I'm going to have more vlogs coming, more stuff like that, man. We're going to get active on this YouTube, on TikTok, man. Y'all follow me on TikTok, Marvel Been Lit, Instagram, Marvel Been Lit, Twitter, Marvin Too Lit. You know, everything, man. And, uh, we're going we gonna, to we gonna get this content pushing out, man. This trucking content, everything, man. This just life, man. I'm going to just show y'all how my shit go on the regular. And you know what I'm saying? Y'all going to rock with me or y'all not? I really don't care. Niggas from home going to think I'm weird, all that. I don't care. I don't, man. I really ain't been hanging out with nobody. I've pretty much been to myself. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting to this money now, so. It's all. <laughs> what is she doing? But, yep, that's it, y'all, man. Catch y'all next time.